Hello everyone, and welcome to my Days of Our Lives official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Xander makes a concession to Maggie Days of Our Lives reveals that Leo Stark called Marlena Evans for an exigency dream interpretation, but she scolded him and said that number was for making factual movables. Once Marlena hung up with Leo, she turned her attention to Alex Kiriaki's appearance. Alex participated how Teresa Donovan hooked up with Brady Black and also dropped him like a hot potato when Alex wanted to be exclusive. Still, Alex suggested it all worked out since Brady said his relationship with Teresa was always poisonous anyway. After seeing Teresa in peril during all the Constantine Meliuni's drama, Alex was ready to completely commit to her. Marlena wondered why Alex was ent ready ahead, so he admitted he felt like Teresa was keeping commodity from him. Since Teresa assured Alex that was ent the case, he was choosing to move forward with her and allowed. She might be the bone. At the Kiriakis' manse on Tuesday's day's occasion, Bonnie Kiriakis caught Teresa talking to Victor Kiriakis' portrayal about Xander Cook. Bonnie assumed Teresa was talking about Xander's fire with the Bobbies. Following what happened to Constantine. Teresa pretended that was exactly right, but Bonnie still allowed. She was hiding commodity as she took off. In the city forecourt, Leo introduced himself to Teresa as Lady Whistleblower and wanted to solicit her about her connection to Constantine, but Teresa acted like there was nothing to tell. Leo shifted gears and allowed. Lady Whistleblower's compendiums would like tips on how to score a hot, fat Kiriaki's heir at law like Alex, but Teresa claimed she was in it for love. At one point, Leo also said Teresa reminded him of an old friend who had a better accentuation and better hair so he was easily allowing of Gwen Rizek. Once Leo made an appointment with Marlena and arrived in her office, he talked about his loneliness and how superficial he kept effects with all his familiarity. Marlena helped Leo see that he to learn to love himself and move beyond the mindset that his mama had drilled into him. Once Marlena said Leo was eminently sweet, Leo decided he wanted to say that to his mama's face and called Statesville to ask about the visiting schedule since he planned to see Diana Cooper. Back with Teresa, she met up with Alex in the city forecourt and sought updates on his remedy session. Alex ultimately admitted he loved Teresa, so she got him to confirm he really meant it and also said it back. At the Kiriakis' manse again on day's occasion, Maggie Kiriakis woke up after sleeping all night due to an opiate. Once Sarah Horton revealed that Constantine was deceased, Xander admitted he was responsible. While Sarah took a phone call from the sanitarium, Xander explained to Maggie that he shot Constantine when he was trying to strangle Teresa. That said, Xander confessed that he'd a choice and did end have to take effects that far, but he wanted vengeance. Maggie wondered if Xander felt shamefaced, but he was ant sorry at all that Constantine was gone for good. It turns out Maggie was ant moreover, so she was only sorry that she did ant pull the detector herself. Coming on Tuesday's day's occasion, Sarah joined Bonnie on the lounge and got a call from Fiona Cook's last known number, but it turned out to be another woman who D had the number for times. Sarah did and have any other ways to get in touch with Xander's mama, but Xander suggested that was for the stylish once she gave him the news. In Maggie's room, she put on Victor's mask to console herself and hoped that he could eventually rest in peace. At the Horton House on Tuesday's DOL show, Chad DeMera, Billy Flynn, told Julie Williams that the spurt was fueled up and ready to go for their Chicago trip. Chad also said he called ahead and got the bank director to open up the place on Juneteenth, which meant they could probe Clyde Weston's safe deposit box. Julie and Chad conceded that it was hard keeping all this a secret from Jennifer Horton Devereaux and Jack Devereaux. Jack suddenly appeared in the doorway with questions about this secret and the box they'd been talking about. After Julie ate Jack back for a visit, she prevaricated that she was talking about the time capsule and claimed the kiddies wanted it to be a surprise. Jack paid a visit to Thomas DeMera, Carrie Christopher, and Charlotte DeMera, Autumn Gendron, upstairs, so he'd gashes in his eyes when he returned. Since Thomas said Chad told him Abigail DeMera, last played by Marcy Miller, was alive, Jack got choked up, though he assured Chad that they all knew he meant alive in their hearts. Indeed so, Jack was emotional over Abigail and felt her presence so explosively in the house. 
Once Jack met with Ray Fernandez, Galen Gehring, off-screen, he banged into Bonnie at the cantina and talked to her about Clyde. Jack hoped that since Clyde was going into solitary confinement for the rest of his life, he could no way hurt anyone again. Back with Chad and Julie, they showed up at the bank in Chicago and made a vaticination about eventually getting the answers inside Clyde's safe deposit box. Days of our life spoilers say Julie and Chad will reply to a major stunner soon, will Gwen Rizek return after Teresa's downfall, Emily O'Brien to exchange places? Days of our lives, D-O-O-L, spoilers reveal that some recast news shook up the cleaner world last time when Emily O'Brien exited the part of Gwen Rizek and replaced Jen Lilly in the part of Teresa Donovan. Of course, there's always an adaptation period when someone differently takes over, but O'Brien has made the part her own. Some days suckers are always going to prefer one actor over another in situations like this, but O'Brien is still doing a great job now that she's in colluding Teresa's shoes. Still, we see Ayant ignore the fact that Teresa's life is about to completely fall piecemeal. In the not-too-distant future, everyone will come privy to Teresa's plot with Constantine Meliunis, John Capello's, and all the drama she caused by duping Alex Kiriakis, Robert Scott Wilson into thinking he was Victor Kiriakis, John Aniston, heir at law. Alex will surely leave Teresa after her exposure, and Brady Black, Eric Martzolf, will inescapably be enough shocked with Teresa, too. In fact, Teresa may come the city leper, which could set the stage for her departure. When Gwen left Days, it was because the show had run out of broom with her character. There just weren't any good Gwen stories left to play especially with Jack Devereaux, Matthew Ashford, and Abigail D. Mara, last played by Marcy Miller, out of the picture. Now Jack has some new DOL drama coming up, and Anna Lynn McCord could be verified as an Abigail recast, depending on how her plot turns out. New openings are suddenly opening up for Gwen's future in Salem, while Teresa is being written into a corner. It's reasonable to suppose another Teresa Donovan and Gwen Rizek exchange could be brewing at some point. What if Emily O'Brien formerly again switches places and goes back to playing Gwen? Just before Gwen boarded her airplane, she pledged that Salem hadn't seen the last of her. There's the implicit for Gwen to make a day's comeback, so we LL bring you more prognostications on whether a part exchange will indeed go down. Days of our live spoilers say Teresa's life is about to blow up, stay tuned for updates on whether that LL paved the way for Gwen's return. Jack Returns, Julie Thwarted, Maggie's Discovery, Sarah's Dead End Days of Our Live Spoilers for Tuesday, June 18, 2024 are then. Suckers can anticipate Jack Devereaux, Matthew Ashford, to return.